What's up guys, it's Tyler from House of Cards TCG and today I'm bringing you another combo video and this time I felt like bringing back an old deck that I, I've grown to love over the time. I've played this deck so much and occasionally I'll bring this deck out, especially when a new format starts and everything's kind of up in the air. It's a great time to bring out a deck like this because it just catches people off guard and you're not sure what the format's going to bring yet. So I am a huge, huge just advocate of Dr Buster Blader. Do I think that the deck is tier 1 and can compete and win a YCS? No, I don't. But I still have an incredible time playing this deck. And so I wanted to bring you the most competitive version that I could find of this deck and go over some combo lines with you so that you could, if you want to pick this up, you could go ahead and try it. This is a competitive build, so I should forewarn you on that. This is not cheap by any means. It does have, for example, Lubellion, which is a very expensive card right now. And so maybe there's things that we could talk about that you could do alternatively in the deck profile, which I'll post tomorrow. And we can talk about different ways to actually um, make this deck a little bit more budget. I did see a Synchron build that I really liked, but there was a very small Buster Blader engine in that deck. So I want to focus more on Buster Blader itself. And I felt like the branded Bestial version is the best way to showcase the Buster Blader engine. So... With all that, I will uh, go ahead and go over the combo video. Again, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I'm going to go ahead and drop the profile tomorrow. We're going to use real cards, go over them card by card, so that I can explain to you how it all works. But for now, this is the combo. And if it is the next day, then I've probably already pinned the deck profile at the top of the comments. So you can go ahead and check that out. But as always, please help us get to 4,000 subscribers. We really appreciate that. And with all that being said, let's dive into some Buster Blader combos. Okay, so starting off for hand number one, we're just going to go over the basics here. The basics is basically starting with your best normal summon, which is going to be your Buster Whelp. What Buster Whelp does is when it's normal summon, and specifically normal summon, it can't be when it's special summon, only normal summon, you get to add a Destruction Sword card. Most of the time, you're going to gra grab Prologue, which is the trap that allows you to set up the Buster Lock on your opponent's turn, which I'm going to show you now. So if we go ahead and normal summon the Buster Whelp, it will activate the effect. That will then not get ashed. That will go ahead and grab yourself this prologue here. And prologue is great because you can sync uh, Destruction Sword Memories and a Buster Blader and then chain it. And I'm going to show you how we're able to do all that. Now from here, we could link it off. But we're going to go ahead and link this for a Striker Dragon. That puts a dragon into the graveyard to allow you to activate these Destruction um, Sword Memories. And again, we're just going to basically show you this basic Buster Blader combo. Very basic here, but I just do want to just show you this. So on your opponent's turn... What we'll do is we flip over the prologue. You send it. This one right here, we only play one of in this deck because we're able to actually do different things to recur our fusion and our buster dragon. But we're going to go ahead and send the destruction sword memories and a specifically a buster blader. And what that does is allows you to chain the memories now. So you're chaining in, re in response. So for cost, the prologue actually sends both those cards. You can't ash prologue, even though it sends the graveyard, because it is a cost to send. So on the resolution, so you're going to activate prologue, send destruction sword memories and buster blader, ask for a response, no response. You can chain memories by banishing itself. And then you're going to go ahead and special out the buster destruction swordsman, the fusion, by banishing the buster blader and then the whelp. And now what this does is it puts the uh, fusion buster blader out with the buster dragon. And what this lock essentially is, once I get over here, we'll go ahead and uh, get past these screens here. We'll go ahead and draw. That's fine. So what this lock basically is, is this guy right here says that you cannot, uh, you can't attack directly, but also uh, change all dragon monsters your opponent controls to defense. Also, dragon monsters in your opponent's possession cannot activate their effects. That includes in their hand because it's in their possession. And it also includes in the graveyard. So the if it's a dragon, it cannot activate its effect, period, as long as this card is on the field. This is great against cards like Bestials that activate in hand. They actually can't activate those cards in hand because as long as this card is out on the field, you can't activate because it's in their possession. Now, what this card says is the buster dragon it says all monsters your opponent controls become dragons so what that means is anything on your opponent's field now becomes a dragon not in their hand not in the graveyard only on the field does it become a dragon so then when that pairs with this that means that all the monsters that your opponent controls on their field are now negated now activated effects not anything that lingers only activated effects cannot be activated so it's important to note so if they're a dragon they just can't activate effects period as long as this card's on the field if they're on the field and is paired with a card like this, which is Buster Dragon. Your opponent cannot activate any effects at all of any monsters because all their monsters are now dragons. So that's the basic combo. Now let's get into a little bit more, you know, trickier stuff involving some branded cards. 
All right, combo number two is going to involve your buster whelp setting up the buster lock, but we're going to actually involve a little bit something different, which is going to be involving seal, which is going to allow you to actually further disrupt your opponent on their turn and actually do quite a bit here. So obviously, again, opening up two hand traps is pretty insane in this deck. I do like that, um, playing all this different non-engine. So we're going to go ahead and start with your normal summoning of your buster whelp. Buster whelp will then activate. That's going to grab you your destruction uh, Swordsman Prologue, which is the. By the way, if you're ever wondering how you know the difference between the two cards, is Prologue actually has a picture of Buster Dragon on it. Memories does not. So if you want to remember something, Prologue when you activate it um, is the one that actually specials the Buster Dragon. Memories is the one that specials the Fusion Buster Blader. And how you know the difference is Prologue has the Buster Dragon on the picture of it. I think the artwork is insane. Maybe one day I'll do a lore video because I just like the Buster Blader stuff so much. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and link off our buster whelp it's done our job we don't need it anymore so we're just gonna banish it because yeah it did our job we got us our trap so it's gonna grow up and it's gonna be a big buster dragon now so we're gonna go ahead and activate the magnum Mutt and it's gonna go ahead and banish it magnum Mutt will allow us to search at the end phase which is gonna be really good because we're gonna grab another disruption and then we can go from here we're gonna make ourselves a seal and then all we're doing is we're setting the prologue. We can go ahead and set imperm. Now we have ash, imperm, prologue, and seal bounce. And so in phase, we're going to go ahead and search. And this is our different search targets that we want to do. If you want, you could go ahead and grab yourself a ball drake here. And Druiswurm is also really, really good. I love searching out Druiswurm, especially when I have branded beast set up. But here, we're actually, I'm just going to go ahead and grab myself a uh, ball drake. And I'm going to show you why. So on our opponent's turn, they're going to go ahead and activate standby main phase, all that good stuff. Now what we do is we're going to go ahead and flip prologue. We're going to go ahead and set up our buster lock just like normal. Do keep in mind, I have to seal bounce something. Normally it would be an opponent's monster. And uh, we're not going to be able to do that right now. We're going to go ahead and banish those two. You want to keep Magnuma in the graveyard. Because if you ever get access to the regain, you can special the Magma back. So that's just something to consider here. So now obviously we're set up here. Now why Baldrake is so important. Because if you were, we're going to pretend like we're not going to bounce one of our own cards. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and do that. We'll just bounce our Buster Dragon. Again, Buster Dragon would still be here because you would bounce your opponent's monster. But this is obviously for uh, ex explanation purposes. So what you could do is you can go ahead and bring out the Magna. Magna will then go allow you to search at the end phase. And then what you would do here is you would summon new Baldrake. You could banish something like Seal. And then you could have Baldrake as another disruption. So in that instance, you have Seal Bounce. You would have the Buster Lock, which means that your opponent would be locked down. And couldn't activate any effects of dragons and on the field they couldn't activate any effects you had the imperm ash and on top of it if they go into a synchro su a link summon because let's say if you go into links that actually bypasses the buster lock because it doesn't switch them to defense so if you go into any links you can just go ahead and baldrake pop the uh or tribute the magna and then you can go ahead and banish that link monster and make them actually have to further extend past all that so that was kind of what your bestial seal lock is going to look like now let's try to get into some branded fusion combos all right, here we have a branded fusion hand, and I want to show this to you because we're going to be able to do a lot with this hand. This obviously kind of looks like a branded hand if you're if you're really looking at it, but we're going to be able to go over some different things. I'm going to show you how we're going to be able to actually combo this off here. So looking at this, there's a lot of different things that we could do. First off, obviously having branded in high spirits is good because we can go ahead and send, and that's going to allow us to search out one of our cards. So we can go ahead and reveal the Sorinir because we can go ahead and send the Sorinir to the graveyard and plus off of it by being able to send ourselves a um, um, Lubelion. So we're going to send Albion. We're going to add a card to hand. Here's our option in this deck is obviously we have, which would have been the Blazing Cartesia. We have Albaz and then we have the Shrouded Dragon as well. We can obviously normal summon our Albaz that gets another dragon into the graveyard. It makes a Branded and Red Live, which is going to be a pretty good play for us. Or we could go with this and set up some more of our Branded plays by the, allowing the Shrouded Dragon to send Regained. And then we could go ahead and Albion can set the Beast. A lot of different things that we could do, but let's just go ahead and grab the Albaz. Then we could go ahead and activate Sornir. Sornir will then go ahead and send. This is our different options here. We'll go ahead and send Lubelion. We will normal summon out our Albaz. And then we're actually not going to link it off because we actually need that card in order to activate Branded Fusion. So we can't link off the same turn that we activate Branded Fusion. Now we'll go ahead and activate Lubelion. Bring it out. Lubelion effect will bring out Regain because we do have Albion in the graveyard. Albion can obviously set Beast. And now from here, we can go ahead and activate our Blazing Cartesia. That's going to set up our setup here to get around any Imperms or Veilers. We'll activate Branded Fusion. That will go ahead and bring out our Albion. 
And now here, when we're looking at this, we're going to send our Albaz and we can send off our Lubelion, bring out the Albion, and then we're going to go ahead and Albion, make ourselves a Mirror Jade. And then we're also going to go ahead and use the Blazing Cartesia. Blazing Cartesia, we'll go ahead and bring out Sanctifier using these two cards here. And then we'll go ahead and make ourselves a Mirror Jade using those two right here. Now what this does is Brandon Regain, obviously, so that we can actually shuffle back our Albion and draw a card. Grabs ourselves an Ash Blossom, which is really good. So now here we have our full setup. We're going to go ahead and go to end phase. Now we have a bunch of effects that we're going to activate. First one is going to be Albion. Albion is then going to go ahead and activate. We'll set ourselves a Branded Beast. And then we can go ahead and activate Blazing Cartesia. Cartesia will then go ahead and add ourselves back to the hand. Then on our opponent's turn, what we want to do is we want to obviously use our Sanctifier. Sanctifier can now grab Albaz, and then Albaz will go ahead and special back to our field, and we can activate this at any time. And we can use a card like Baldrake onto their field, but we can Albaz, and then we can go ahead and make Lubelion, and that can turn into another Mirror Jade, or that can turn into just fusing away their opponent's monsters. So you can see how crazy this can be. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and activate that. We will go ahead and put Albaz here, and then we'll put the Baldrake here. We'll activate the Falling Valbaz. We'll pitch away the Blazing Cartesia. And then we're going to go ahead and make ourselves a Lubelion. And you can see how you can just continue to just pop off on this if you wanted to. You can get rid of the Ash. You can take the Lubelion, make another Albion by shuffling. Let's see. We'll shuffle this guy and we'll shuffle this guy. Makes another Albion. Just crazy what you can do. You can go Albion. You can keep fusing. You can actually make another Lubelion. It's crazy actually what this deck can do. So that's a little bit of the bestial branded stuff like that and let's go into more buster lock with the branded fusion all right so you can go ahead and just roast me in the comments below because i know i was having some fun with that last combo just making a bunch of random fusions that didn't even matter i was basically just showing you the potential what you can do with this deck um, another thing that you could do with sanctifier is you can actually also special summon a buster blader if you if you had a random buster player just a normal you can actually special summon that to your side of the field and then you can equip the dragon buster destruction sword to it and actually not have it equipped to your fusion in case your fusion gets outed so that way your opponent has to deal with two different of your buster bladers one to deal with the extra deck lock the other to deal with the dragon lock so that is something just to consider and to think about but the albaz being able to special summon the albaz and do all that is actually a lot of fun so here uh, we opened up a lot of different things here. We opened up the prologue with the Branded Fusion and the Blazing Cartesia. So I do want to show you this combo. This is kind of the whole everything, the whole engine packed into this. And then we obviously opened up with the Albion the Strata Dragon, which is going to allow us to get a draw. So this is all just something just I want to show you. And so we're going to start off by activating the Albion the Strata Dragon. And these are the different targets that we can send. Now, we do have access to Beast here with our Lubelion that we're probably going to be able to get out here. So it may not be a bad idea to send Regain that we're able to gonna, you know, set that up. Or we could just send another Albaz, which is going to actually put a um, Dragon into the graveyard and allow us to actually combo off a little bit more. And we do actually open up our Buster Whelp. That is our best normal summons. We are going to go ahead and normal summon that. Grab ourselves a Prologue. I actually meant to grab the Destruction Sword there. So that's actually my bad. This is supposed to be the Destruction Sword, not an extra Prologue. Jump the gun. But anyway, because you could discard that off of Lubelion. Uh, we'll go ahead and activate the Blazing Cartesia. That's going to go ahead and Special Summon. Then we'll activate our Branded Fusion. Branded Fusion, we'll go ahead and activate our Lubelion. This is where Lubelion, but I guess it doesn't matter. We'll just go ahead and discard it here. We'll go ahead and send it this way. Now when Lubelion comes out, we're going to go ahead and activate. We'll discard this card here. And now we're going to be able to go ahead and activate Lubelion's effect. And Lubelion will then be able to allow us to go into Mirror Jade. Obviously, then we're going to be able to send our Albion into the graveyard. So then we're going to go ahead and take those two. We make a Mirror Jade. Now what we could do is we can go ahead and activate our Mirror Jade. Mirror Jade will send to Albion. We can go ahead and banish our Buster Whelp. We can set the Prologue. And then we can go ahead and activate our Magnemut. These are different targets. We'll just banish the Albaz here. And then we're going to go ahead and grab Magma, search at the end phase. Uh, probably should not have banished our Albaz because now it makes Branded Red not live, but I guess that's fine. We go into our end phase. We're going to get this. This is going to allow us to search for our Baldrick because, again, we're going to be able to just go ahead and deal with one of the extra deck locks. And we're going to be able to fusion on our opponent's turn. 
Then we're going to go ahead and get the Albion. Albion will then be able to set us something. We can go look. We don't have... Uh, Beast would probably be our best option here. Because obviously, Branded Red, we just banished our Albaz. So we'll go ahead and set our Branded Beast. And then we will go ahead and pass turn. Now what we're going to do on our opponent's turn is we can go ahead and activate the Prologue. Prologue will send Destruction Sword Memories and the Buster later. Then we're going to go ahead and chain the Memories to the Prologue. And then from here, what we're going to be able to do is bring out our Buster Dragon. And we will go ahead and do a Buster Blader. And we'll do the Albion, banishing both of those. Brings out the Fusion Buster Blader. And then we have our Buster Dragon, which comes out. Now we can go ahead and activate our Buster Dragon effect. And we can go ahead and equip our uh, per, the um, Destruction Sword card to our Buster Blader. Now you can also make the Fusion up in the extra monster zone. So you have room to make the ball drake to be able to summon that out and then so when you look at this board and what you're able to bring out basically what you have is you have a branded beast which is going to be able to pop a card on the field which is great for the um to deal with one of the opponent's cards you have the mirror jade which is already a body if they add it you're going to blow up their board you have the buster lock which is the buster dragon with the buster fusion and you have the extra deck lock in the buster blader destruction sword or not dragon buster destruction sword so they all their monsters on their field become dragon in defense can not activate effects all dragons in their hand and in the graveyard can not activate effects also they can't special summon from the extra deck and then on top of that you have a pop of beast and baldrake can still come down and if they go into the extra monster zone with a link monster trying to out your cards because they're not in defense they can activate effects well you can just chain baldrake and that can just deal with that because the chances of them playing through all that and getting to a link four twice not that high so with all that that's a lot this is your basic buster blader combos obviously there's a lot more in depth that you could do with this deck this is your very very basics and i'm probably just a tad bit rusty with this deck if i'm being honest there's probably a lot more that you could do but this is your basic combos that i wanted to bring you because buster blader is a pretty cool deck and i occasionally i'll bust out the branded cards and i'll go play some buster blader with them i'm kind of known for that at the locals so tomorrow i'll drop the deck profile so make sure to subscribe to the channel and i hope you enjoyed this combo deck profile this has been tyler with house of cards tcg signing out